we've been to a lot of Chinese restaurants and got chime in, but this flavor is the bomb right here. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at Grand Central Market in downtown LA. Yeah, it's one of our favorite places. Yes, you know, it's one of the biggest indoor food halls yes. in LA, mm -hmm. right? It has so much variety. We've already done tacos here. Yes. Uh, we visited Egg Slut here already. Right. Pizza place. We did the pizza. We did their uh, pasta shop already. Right. You know, we're going to do an Asian food tour. Yeah, that's the only thing we haven't hit up here yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to try to hit up a lot of Asian places. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, get our grub on. Yes, I'm ready. This is from China Cafe. Now it is busy. We got here a little bit before 11, which was a perfect time because right now there is a wait. They do have counter seating, but we got everything to go. Actually, even if you sit at the counter, they put everything in to go dishes. Before I remember them serving it on dishes, but now they put everything to go. So we got here the pork wonton soup and they give your soup in a separate container. We're gonna pour this on in just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and try this out. You can see it's coming out steaming hot. These wontons are nice and plump and you can see this one doesn't have any noodles in it. It's strictly veggies and wontons and they give you, even give you a half an egg. So I, I left this wonton out because this was screaming hot when it came out. So I opened it up to let it cool down. I get a little bit of that soup in there. Good wonton flavor. Very meaty. The soup, very mild taste. To me, it needs a little bit salt or a little bit soy, but I can see why they don't do it because they want to make sure it is a good flavor for everyone. The veggies are still crunchy, which is really nice. Oh yeah. And okay, that's a, a pork filling dumplings? Yep. As you can see, those are pork wontons. They had pork, they had chicken, they had beef, they have all the different types. And they even had noodle soups as well. And for the price, this isn't bad at all. This will definitely get you filled up. What I really like about this place is everything is made fresh for you. So this is the barbecued pork fried rice. Tell it's nicely done. It has those green sprouts, those onions in there. Here is your barbecued pork. Let's go ahead and try this out. And it is hot. Mm -hmm. Very well done but you can see the egg in there. The bean sprouts are still really crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's a good fried rice. I like it. Here we have some Hong Kong style chow mein. This is like the crispy noodles. Of course, it's not too crispy because it has a lot of the sauce on here. Combination of seafood and meat. You can see it has some barbecue pork chicken, some shrimp. And I'm not sure what this is. Uh, Maybe like, like a kind of fish? I don't know. It looks like a, um, what is a calamari baby? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Some calamari. So it's got a little bit of squid in it. This thing is hot. Look at that. So I'll try some of these noodles first with a little veggie, and then I'll give the uh, pork and shrimp a try. This is delicious. I love the flavor of that sauce that they put on here on the chow mein. It isn't too sweet, but very savory. I'm gonna try some of this barbecue pork out. Mm. Very tender. Great barbecue pork flavor on that one. And I can just tell just by looking at the shrimp, it is very plump. Not overcooked at all. We've been to a lot of Chinese restaurants and got chime in, but this flavor is the bomb right here. I love this one. As 
from Sorry Sorry, we got the Lechon Kalawai. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope so. But it's basically crispy, deep fried pork belly. Look at that. And all the dishes come with the egg, right? Almost like a, like a sunny side up egg. Yeah. And is there rice on the bottom? Yes. We have some regular rice and some veggies. This looks very crispy, well fried. I'm kind of excited about this. This sauce is what they give you. I think it's maybe vinegar based, like a vinegar soy sauce base. Well, let's just try it without the sauce first. Should I dip it in the egg? What do you uh, think? You can, babe. Oh, a little bit right there. Okay, oh, look at that. There we go. Let's try this out. Then let me follow up with a little bit of rice. Okay. This is one of the best lechons I've had. What? One of the best. It looks dry, but do not let that fool you. It is so tender. And it's got the right amount of crispiness along that outside of the skin. This is delicious. Wow. It's almost like they just had the whole pig there and they just kind of just carved it up. It is that fresh and delicious. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised at this. Uh, I think we had it a long time ago and it was just okay. But this exceeded my expectations from this place this time. Highly recommend. Very delicious. The lechon is on point at this place. Sorry, sorry. Also from Sorry, Sorry, we got, what was this called again? A toron. A toron, which is like a banana egg roll. Yeah. Very interesting. It's more of a dessert, and they give you some type of dipping sauce for it. It is so shiny. Is it sticky? No, it's not. Wow. Oh. Not sticky at all. Let's try it with this little frosting dip since it's uh, made for it. Crunchy. Mm. Good banana in there. Yeah. It's pretty much a slice of banana right in the middle. Of course with that very crispy type of almost like a lumpia wrapping on this. So it's very, very crispy and light. It is slightly caramel in flavor, and this isn't too sweet either. So I think this is almost like a caramel type of frosting. It matches perfectly, a little bit of brown sugar sprinkled on top. First time I've had this, it's delicious. And um, you know, this is really a dessert, but we have some more mains to try out. But just one more bite. Yeah, this is good. We're gonna take this one home for sure. This is from Bento Ya. This is a deluxe platter. The reason why I got the deluxe platter is because they were cooking this tempura just freshly done. So I had to try it. This is the beef deluxe platter. It comes with tempura, some beef, rice, and a piece of salmon with a little bit of salad. We're gonna go ahead and dig onto this salmon. Let's try this out. I saw them frying it on that top they have. Mmm. Nicely, nicely cooked fish. That fish is delicious. It has a little Christmas to it, which is really nice. Now let me go ahead and try this freshly done tempura. Uh oh, I'm spilling over my tempura sauce. Let's go ahead and get this broccoli. Dip it in that sauce. Oh wow. Freshly done dump it up. You can't go wrong. This batter is light. It's light. The broccoli is fresh. Mm hmm When you go visit when you go visit Bento, yeah, be sure to get that temperature. 
you will not regret it. It is delicious. Love the batter. And there's two more things, right? You got some kind of mm -hmm. sesame chicken. Yeah, teriyaki. let's do this. This is the actually this is the beef. Here's the beef. Oh, it's beef. I thought it was chicken. They had chicken and they had shrimp, but I thought we get beef. Very lightly cherry, not really sweet, but I would match this rice perfectly. And mm -hmm. you also got one egg roll or one lupia. egg roll. Yeah. We'll save that for later. Um, let's see what kind of dressing is on this salad. Good, like a little bit sweet, almost like a good sesame dressing. No, this is a perfect meal. Yeah, usually the, yeah. it's like a miso uh, sesame type yeah. of dressing, right? I don't taste too much of the miso, but I taste the sweetness and the taste of sesame. You know me, when we come to Grand Central, we always get a lot of food. Luckily, all well, the majority of the food came in to go containers that are really sturdy. This one's a little bit flimsy, so I brought my containers here along with my other hydro flask containers right here. And I'm gonna transfer it out because I think it'll just save better. Because these are, this is gonna probably most likely be our dinner tonight. It's gonna be Christopher's lunch before he goes to work when we get home. So oh, yeah. you gotta do it. Yes, so that's a pro tip. Bring pro some tip. Tupperware with you. Bring Tupperware, especially if you're gonna be eating like we eat. Yeah. yeah, you gotta bring some Tupperware because there's no way that we can finish all this food. From Moon Rabbit, we have a Japanese style pork katsu sandwich. They call this a pork sandwich? Sando. Sando. And it's done with a what, Japanese milk bread? You said? Japanese milk bread. Wow, look at that. It's got the uh, dressing inside. I see it because it's spilling off the bottom, as you can see, right? Now what's interesting about the, uh, the sando is um, the pork katsu it's supposed to be like trimmed like perfectly and they usually cut off the edges of the crust of the bread but this is still on but i'm interested to see how it is i can feel the the warmth of the uh of the the cutlet coming right through the bread but we're going for a bite this is very good what stands out is the crispiness of that cutlet it is nice and hot the slaw on here is cold. The bread, very fluffy. It's like a little little pillowy soft. And the dressing they use is a little bit on the sweeter side. And it's not the traditional like katsu dressing. There's the inside of it right there. So you can see the dressing on it. Very tasty. If you like. If you like pork cutlet in a sandwich, this is a this is a must try for sure. We also got the brown sugar milk tea, also from Moon Rabbit. You can see the little boba balls on there. They got stuck. It's a good flavor. The tapioca is nice and soft. It's about a medium type of sweetness to it. Very good, almost like a caramel type of milk flavor. Yeah, it matches perfectly with that uh, sandal. This is a Thai barbecue chicken from Sticky Rice. This is the chicken here, nice barbecue. Here's the sauce right here. Comes with a papaya salad and here's the sticky rice. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Sometimes a papaya salad could pack some heat. It could, it yeah. could, but I can see nuts in here and the papaya, we'll see if it packs any heat. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this pack up for that sticky rice. I like how they keep it separated so it doesn't get all over the place. They do have normally mango rice, but they didn't have any right now for this for today. So we're gonna try their regular rice. I'm gonna get some rice here. Oh yeah, nice and sticky. It's almost like the glutinous rice like you get from a Chinese Somali. Nice sticky plain rice. No major flavor into it. I'm gonna try on this chicken. 
Here's the Thai barbecue chicken. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. There we go. Good job. That sauce is sweet. Has a ever so slight bit of heat to it. This chicken, even though it's been barbecued, it's not dry. Delicious chicken. And of course, let's try this papaya salad. See if it, if it does pack that heat. On this papaya salad, I can see the peanuts on there. Nicely shaven papaya. Great crunchiness. I can feel a little bit of heat coming on. But right now, I'm not in the full sweat mode. But just a little bit of heat. I probably, if I eat this continuously, I'd probably be feeling the burn. But right now, that was a perfect bite. This is delicious. I recommend this one. You know, we had to stop at the donut, man. We have to. Strawberries are in season. Mm -hmm. So look at what we got. Can you see it? Whoa, whoa, look at that. Oh yeah, the strawberry donuts, tiger tails, and they have chocolate covered strawberries. Right there in the corner, we got them with the nuts. I like, I like disappeared behind the it box. It did, it did. Yeah, so we're gonna try this strawberry out. We will. This is gonna get messy, but I guess there's only one way to do it, right? Yep, and I have my Purell right, so everything will turn out fine. Everything will be fine. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like dripping. It is. You wanna go for a bite? Right, no, you go ahead, baby. Okay. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, babe. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Strawberries are nice and sweet. Yeah. They are definitely in season. They are. Yeah. And as you see, they don't go cheap with those strawberries. They really pack it. And it's really like a glazed donut for those that never tried one before. With that strawberry glaze. Oh yeah. It's delicious. The strawberry glaze is slightly sweet, but the sweetness really comes out from the strawberry. It does. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm gonna get one more bite. Okay, babe. There you go, babe. Uh, chocolate covered strawberries yeah look at that i mean they have what peanuts on got here? peanuts on it baby wow yeah well Try in honor of a val upcoming valentine's day have some mm -hmm. that strawberry that taste is delightful the chocolate isn't like how sometimes you get the dark chocolate and it's a little bit on that that like a kind of like a dark chocolate side this one's perfect the nuts are perfect oh yeah, oh, yeah. this is delicious wow that's that chocolate right here mm -hmm. dark chocolate dark chocolate it's perfect yeah uh, semi-sweet i'm thinking it's, oh yeah so it doesn't have that that um kind of like a espresso taste to it delicious i love dark chocolate anyways and it's delicious and you know it's the same strawberry that they use for the donuts, for the donuts. yeah so yeah it's perfect it's a winner winner strawberry strawberry donut dinner okay well plus enough babe <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna wrap up our Asian tour from here at Grand Central Market. Now we've been here uh, several times for tacos and everything else. Right. Uh, if you want a best of, we love this market. So yeah. go ahead and put it in the comments below if you wanna see more of this or our best of of this market. We definitely will oblige and oh, we'll do it. One thing, uh, did you notice any vegan or vegetarian options at these places? I would say 90% of these places did have some sort of option, vegan or vegetarian. Oh, it's good to know. Yeah, yeah some of our viewers uh, asked about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, that's going to wrap it up. You have any shout outs on this one? I do. Uh, Kelly and Tiana, I lied. Kelly and Tiani. Let me make sure. Yep, Kelly and Tiani, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. All right, well. That was fun. It was very fun. Yeah. We love coming over here. Uh, this is a great food hall. So if you've never been, uh, put it on your list to check out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of everything here. They do. They yeah. do. Mm -hmm. So until our next one. Catch you guys on the next one.